next up in our Express series, I want to talk about variables and settings and locals within Express. So these are all the different ways that you can save settings, save data, and pass it around between different parts of the application. Okay, I've got a basic setup here. I've got some routes to find. I've got a basic application with a whole bunch of variables inside of it. Uh, if you want to follow along with this, the starter code, everything that I've got down here is linked to in the description. There's a code gist with all three files, these three files that we're going to be working with. The structure of the project is that we have a views folder. Inside of that, we've got a pug template. We've got a routes folder. Inside of that is the apples.js routing file. And then app.js, that is our main Express file here. And I've already got it up and running. We've got uh, Express is installed and we've got it listening on port 4040. So we're going to run this and see what we get um, for different parts of the application. But I want to explain a bunch of things before we actually run it and do anything. So inside of here, I've got the routes included. And down here, we're doing app.use to bring in those routes. So if you've watched the previous video on routing, you know all about that. You know how that works. I've also included here, I haven't done a video on templates yet, but this is how you can combine a pug template. So I've set up a variable called views and it's pointing to the folder views. And then I'm saying that my view engine for this application is going to be pug. Now this command right here, app.set, this is actually setting a variable. Just like this line right here, app.set custom and I'm setting that to Mandalorian. All three of these lines are doing the exact same thing. They are all creating something inside of app.locals.settings and then the variable name. So here is .custom. For this one, it's going to be settings.views and this one is going to be settings view engine. Now I have to write it with a square bracket syntax because there's a space inside the name, but this is how they're all working. There is a thing called locals inside of the app object. That has one particular property called settings, and inside of there, this is where you can define a whole bunch of things. So these are application level settings. They exist for the entire lifetime of the application. We can also define our own properties outside of settings. Now with settings, I can put things inside of here. There are a whole bunch of these predefined ones that have a special purpose like views and view engine. There's others as well. If you look at the official documentation, I'll provide that link down in the description as well for um, the app.locals. You can see there's a table with a whole bunch of predefined settings that you can set. I can put my own settings inside there. Here I've created one called custom with the value Mandalorian but I don't have to stick to just settings. I can also go to app.locals and create a variable here or a property name rather. I've created one called I have with the value spoken. Now I have is going to be at the same level as settings inside of here. But regardless of which way I'm doing it, all of these are application level settings that are visible throughout my application. Now in my template here, uh, oh, sorry, not the, the template, but with my view engine, I'm using that view to down here, I'm going to use result.render or my response.render. I'm going to call up that index file right here. That's the first parameter. That's going to render this template inside of here. This is interpolation. So if you've worked with template strings in JavaScript, you're familiar with interpolation. Inside the curly braces with a pound sign in front of it, this is a variable. Now this variable here, title, is coming from something called locals. Now it's not the app.locals that we defined up here, app.locals I have. Not this one, but right here inside the render function, we're allowed to define an object. That object gets passed into the template. So index.pug, this file right here, this is being rendered, it's being turned from the template text into actual HTML for us. And this object is being passed into that file. So we can here just pass in a string for the variable title. 
and if we look inside the file right here title title that's the local so this is the local called title which is pugified I believe that's what I called it yeah that's the value that I passed in here so title inside of locals is a variable called title just like this now this one who is also coming from here I've got one called who but here I went to the app object and I said get the thing called custom now because I'm using app.get it means I'm going into app.locals.settings and finding the thing called custom if we look up here app.set custom created app local settings custom so this string Mandalorian we're retrieving that with app.get right here so the string Mandalorian is being passed in as the value of who inside of our template there it is so we're gonna write out some text about Mandalorian now we've got settings.custom right here there's custom again Mandalorian now here I retrieved the value and passed it in as this however inside of my pug files I also have access to app.locals.settings app.locals.whatever so here since app.locals is available I can use settings.custom to get Mandalorian or the thing called I have which back here app.locals I have is the string spoken so this will write out I have spoken this will write out Mandalorian this will write out some text about Mandalorian so let's run that we want to make a request to our running server on localhost 4040 and just to make sure I get the route correct here it was ABC that's the route we want oh yes I can't just do that I have to actually put the curl in front of that we're using the curl command to make our request and there we go so let's open this up a little bit more to see it and here is all the HTML that was actually generated so inside the head there's the title pugified let's look at our template right here title pugified then we've got an h1 with pugified sure enough there it is the h1 pugified text about Mandalorian which is some text about who that was getting it from the locals that were passed in and then we're going to settings.custom so app.locals.settings.custom should say Mandalorian again and it does and I have spoken so the word spoken is coming from the variable I have which was app.locals.i have and then our last one here p that one is the number 4040 and that was being passed through in a variable right here p and I just used a regular variable so not everything has to go inside of this app.locals we don't have to use app.set for everything we can just use regular variables if that's what you have if you've got a variable and you want to pass it through go right ahead there's nothing wrong with this just these will survive for the life of the application this is where you would put things like settings so there we go there's that port number being passed in that's the 4040 and there it is being written out and one other place that we can put values so we've got app.set or app.locals to set those global application level ones we can also go into here this is our router file one other place that we can stick things is middleware or inside of any one of our routes in these handling functions rec this is just an object sure it has a whole bunch of stuff inside of it but it's just an object so we can add our own properties I'm right here creating something called new prop on rec so our request object has a new property now called new prop next is going to make whatever the next route is run so here I've got a route which is going to be 
uh, slash apple slash Fuji. And if it's the get request here, I can reuse that rec.new prop that I created up inside of here in the previous request object in this middleware. This will be carried along. If I've got multiple middlewares, every one of those middlewares has the opportunity to change the value of a property or create a brand new property. So if we do this route, if we come back here, take a look at our route, app.use slash apples. So anything that begins with slash apples, we're going to use our apples.js file, that router. So slash apples slash Fuji. Let's bring up that page. So we'll say curl HTTP. There we go. Get Fuji and Baby Yoda rules, which was the value that we set in this middleware function that then got passed along to the next middleware, which was the actual get method. All right, so we have app.settings up at the top level. We've got things being added to the request object. We've got standard variables that we can use anywhere throughout our JavaScript. And the last one we have, oh, this was just another example right here. The response object also has a local property where we can add variables into it. So we're adding something new inside of here, inside of this locals property, which exists on the response object. The only difference between this one and the app.locals is that this one only exists while the request is being generated and sent back to the browser. This one has a very short lifespan, whereas the one that we're doing here, app.locals, this is going to stick around for every subsequent request. So a whole bunch of users making requests, they're all sharing app.locals, but the app. or the res.locals rather, this one exists only while the request is happening for one single user. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.